edition of the Viking Vision Sit Down with me, Jonah Brown. This week I was walking through the halls and ran into a little friend of mine, Marty Kleba. We decided to take a walk down to the studio and meet up with a mutual friend of ours, TJ Duckett. Let's see how it went. How'd you guys end up coming to Hazlitt? Um, well, uh, our good friend Amy it, Welch. This isn't, gonna, this isn't gonna work, is it? Why not? Alright, let's retry it. Let's retry it. What's the problem? That's part of the I don't want, I'm not trying to say anything right now, sir, but all right, we're all just right. trying to get a shot here. Do whatever you got to do to make yourself comfortable. <laughs> Should we do it? You feel better? I feel, I feel more comfortable right now. Okay. All right. You sure? Yeah, can we start this cart moving? Yeah. How do you guys end up coming to Hazel High School? Well, our, um, our good friend Amy Welch, uh, her son goes here um, at school, so she uh, decided, you know, asked us if we wanted to come here and, and put on our game. and. Uh, we came and checked it out a couple months ago, and looks like it's going to be a fun school. I, I think you guys got a lot of uh, a lot of spunk here, so hopefully you guys will all come out to the game. I think we will. Yeah. How do you and TJ Duckett know each other? Um, I, a friend of mine, Colin, uh, uh, actually introduced me to another guy named uh, Don Reed, who used to play for the Pistons. And then Don and you know the athletes all know each other, so Don you know got contacted TJ and. Uh, one thing led to another, and TJ came out to get his, you know, butt whooped just like every other other time. Right. <laughs> so, what's the reason for this basketball game? Well, uh, I brought TJ in to um, help captain our other uh, celebrity team. We're uh, we're doing this game to help raise money for the World Dwarf Olympics, which is going to be taking place um, at Michigan State University this summer. Um, which you guys are all welcome to come watch to. It's uh, pretty exciting. And we do basketball, soccer. Football, um, volleyball, but anyway, it's 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 not a, you know it's not exactly easy for a lot of people to get there from all over the world. So we're doing this game to raise as much money as we can, so we can offset that um, and help some of the other countries get there. So as a little person, then it's got to mean a lot for you to be helping with such a great cause, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm, I, I'm talking to TJ. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> it does. It feels great to be helping with such a great cause. Good thing my heart's bigger than my size, and my homeboy's bigger than anybody else's, so yeah. we're pretty good with it. We're not talking about what's in, oh, sorry. Nah, we weren't talking <laughs> Okay. <Again>. Anyway. <laughs> you didn't say it wasn't going to be rated, or... You know. That's the uncut version. That's uncut version. <laughs> no, I'm not sure, but I've heard the games haven't gone too well for you in the past. How do the, well, how do the games usually go? You know what, these guys, here's the a, here's a thing. What really puts it uh, on an even field for us is uh, we have a, what's called the no rebound rule, which means when TJ or any of his teammates throw the ball up, or even if we throw it up, it, and it hits the backboard or the rim, they've got to let it come back down and touch the ground before they can grab it. That just makes it so that we can get, you know, we can help box out or do that stuff. And then they always got to bounce pass. So it's none of this, you know, over our head stuff. But mm -hmm. They try cherry bombing it and everything else. Are we, I'm playing to win. Straight up, <laughs> straight up. I mean, yeah, it's for charity. We want, yeah, but yeah, I lost last year, and I don't like to lose. No, you don't. So if we can raise a bunch of money, then he won't take the losses bad. You feel me? I hate giving people that. losses. So. <laughs> Go green. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to bring up a memory, but isn't you caught a last second pass against Michigan? There we go. Michigan, See, that's right? a great segue, man. That's, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Your teacher did a great job of segueing into that. Yeah. <laughs> but let's talk about that. Yeah. So we caught a pass. There was a game that I was going I'd on. And yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> How many Hall of Famers are in the state? <laughs> We're talking about one game, not like oh, the whole entire game. time. Come one on. of those history guys. That's right? all we're talking Kinda about. Kind of like Michigan. Desmond Howard was oh, awesome. Girl. I mean, you know, and the thing is this. Yes, Michigan had a lot, has a lot of talented athletes. But in 2001, they lost. That was the question, right? Yeah, that was. I okay, just, let's just clarify. Hey, every dog has <laughs> Go green. Go so. green. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> celebrities are going to be playing this game? Um, I mean, we put it this way. There are a lot of guys that played football at Michigan State and went on to have careers in the NFL. They, we have news people, uh, newscasters from Channel 10 and Channel 6. We have different stores within the Meridian Mall. And we also have people around the community who are very, very involved. So I 
think, think that sometimes the word celebrity is misused, but we have very, very quality people who believe in the program and who provide a very great service to the community. So if you believe in your community, these are people who definitely can improve it. That's who will be on our team. Do you have some examples of people yeah, that love uh, helping the community? Don Reed, but what's our, uh, we have a teacher, um, the athletic director. Mr. Ferguson? Yep, he'll be on there. So he'll be getting schooled just like <laughs> the man over there. So come and watch him, you know. Go green. Yeah, go green. <laughs> <laughs> have you guys ever thought about playing another sport for charity against each other, or is it usually basketball? I'd love to. I'd love to do soccer. Um, my, my boy Vinny Jones, uh, so he, he owns his own soccer team, and we thought about doing that. But um, I mean, this is, a, this is the second time we've done anything together. And I think the more that our energy combines, then I mean, there, there's so many, there's so many ways you can get involved and help and share. And it's about our relationship. And yeah, maybe a baseball game, maybe a card tournament, maybe a football game, football. anything. I mean, anything. Maybe maybe we come together and play against somebody else. Maybe we we no go against get each other. Pool and I get on your shoulder. What's that chicken? Sure. <laughs> we play chicken together. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to eat a lot of beans the night before. <laughs> <laughs> so you're sitting on your neck. <laughs> Bring it. Okay, that's it. Okay, I need All to get right, somebody. Right now, some. we're calling it. <laughs> that's my partner right there in the, in the chair. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I don't think she has to worry much. No. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you have a world champion basketball team, don't you? That yes, you I play do. For? My, uh, my team, the Statesman, um, I created it a couple of years ago. And all my guys are from across the United States, so they're in, a, they're in itself. We've, been, we've beaten teams from all over the world, and we only get to play when I put these games together. Some other teams, they live all by each other, so they practice every week. My guys only get to, you know. They're good. Yeah, they're, they're play good. when we do these things. And, uh, they're good, though. They're good. They can shoot. Yeah. Is that I'm the fastest little person in the world as well. I run the 100 in a 13.84, which is slow to him. But oh, yeah. when these little legs get going, <laughs> it's like five or six steps for every yeah, yeah. <laughs> good. But you're 40. Now? Yeah. Now? Yeah. <laughs> no. Mine's six flat. Uh, perfect. That's mine now, too. Oh, <laughs> we, can, we can go out and race right now if you guys yeah, want to race. That would be a good yeah. idea. It's a little cold. <laughs> it's a little cold. Just throw the cold. idea. I didn't eat my cold. Wheaties today. Yeah. It's a little cold. <laughs> I might hold you to it Sunday. Uh, after the game. Maybe You'll see court. that, though, yeah. Baseline to baseline. Right. <laughs> um, could you explain CODA more? Yeah, uh, CODA is a, uh, a charity, nonprofit, that uh, my friend and I, Matt Roloff from Little People Big World, created. It stands for Coalition of Dwarf Advocacy. And our main goal is to help um, get dwarf children adopted from around the world. But we also give out scholarships to kids and um, help with medical uh, you know, issues or bills or help people get their ho homes um, maybe remodified because you know, they can't reach the counters all the time. And it costs a lot of money to have you know, counters drop down. or uh, I mean, they have toilets that are really low even. So the thing, the thing that you take for granted every day, somebody else might you know, have trouble even getting to it. So you gotta raise money. And that's why you're gonna come to the game. You. And you. I think we'll get a couple people in the game couple, for you guys. Yeah, a of, these stooges right here. <laughs> a pretty girl in the back, too. <laughs> Where can people get tickets for the game they want to go watch? Um, we have a, you can get them at fr uh, Fringe Hair Salon. Yes, um, Fringe Hair Salon. And then also Mrs. Porritt has them in her class. You can pick them up uh, in between classes or at lunch hour. So get down there and get your tickets. How much do they cost? Uh, ten dollars for students. I think fifteen and for parents. Yeah, it's probably just something like that. Yeah, fifteen dollars for. Yeah. yeah. All right. How many did you buy? I bought four tickets just for myself. All right, there so we there go. go, my man, my man. There you go. That might have been a That's good ego, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> nice. I might use the money to put it in the pennies. That's so. fine too. Uh, hey, whatever. You wanna? Can you explain That's, that a little uh, more? Uh, penny game. You guys are good. I guess you guys are doing a. Uh, a penny um, a drive. What's I think, and I, yeah, I think it's like uh, against each grade, and I think pennies are worth a point, and dollars are the higher, the more you go, the the less the points you subtract, points are subtracted. So I just learned today. So I saw a lot of people 
putting a lot of change in the seniors uh, box or, or jar. I saw a couple of dollar bills in the seniors. Yeah, I saw. <laughs> so I don't. I saw a ten dollar bill senior. in the freshman. Yeah, yeah, so it's interesting. I think I think those are the rules. Yeah, it, it's a really successful thing because uh, my high school did it two two years ago and they raised twenty eight thousand dollars in a week. Nice. So. <laughs> I mean, that's there's your number. Change. There's your number. That's a challenge. Well, my school's got 2,200 <laughs> No, that's a challenge. Right. You got a week. Yeah. 28,000? Make it happen. Got about, uh, Make it days, happen. Dude, <laughs> 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 got about a week. 28, that's what you said, about a week. Yeah. You gave us too much time. About a week. <laughs> <laughs> It'll give you a week and a half. <laughs> a week and a A week and a half. <laughs> that's more than a week. 35, thought, no. <laughs> All right, we'll make it 40. <laughs> All right. 40 he in a week 40. and a half. He 40, said it. 40. <laughs> All right. But he needs $40. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> His whole allowance for that. That's good. Month. That's good. Do you guys have anything else you really want to say about fundraising or the game or anything? Or? Um, just come out and support. It's uh, it's for a great cause. We'll have a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. And um, we want to be able to do this in the community every year. So come and see if you like it. And if it's something that you enjoy and you want to support, Please do it and learn about the Dwarf Olympics coming up, uh, the Dwarf World Games. Yep. Learn about that and you'll learn some information. But just, I mean, we're, we're in Hazlitt, Michigan. There's not very often a guy like Martin comes here and brings his whole crew to do this. So let's show some love from this community to his and uh, let's have a good time. You like it? If you really think about it, $10 is uh, it's a great donation, but you're going to getting to watch you it's know. gonna be a lot of fun it's gonna be yeah. we're gonna have a lot of fun great donation for yeah. a great game exactly mm -hmm. All right. go green bring your girlfriend I'm, I'm a, i might i might get a girlfriend just for this game there you go <laughs> or bring a boyfriend or a friend or you know, bring, anybody. Friend. bring anybody you want to bring anybody <laughs> bring two <laughs> I might Craigslist it or something. Oh, just, there you, go. you know, make something. Better watch happen. out, Craigslist. I don't know about that. Oh my God. Hey, charity, charity. I know you wouldn't do too good on eBay because you nobody know, would bid on that. So. <laughs> is that is yeah. that a personal attack? That's a little, of, yeah, a little snag there. All right. All right. <laughs> I've got a personal ask. Who's the most stubborn athlete you've ever worked with? Oh, um, that I've ever worked with. Yeah. I'm probably have to say myself then. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna throw not me. I, no, it's not I'm the most stubborn, stubborn athlete. <laughs> what about you? Who's you the greatest? Uh, ask him who's the greatest athlete to come out of Michigan State. Oh, who's who's the second greatest athlete to come out of Michigan State? Me. Alright, who's the? I was gonna say. I was yeah. thinking you were the first. I'm gonna say my brother Tico. Alright. Oh yeah, you. Yeah, I mean, I give my props to where I learned it from. <laughs> but at the same time, I mean, now second best is me, of course. But he can have a third. He can take third, though, because I'm going to have to say Kirk Gibson. He's good. He played football. <laughs> he played football. Young people knew that. I mean, uh, I mean, it's honestly, to be honest, I uh, I mean, any everyone from Kirk Gibson to Andre Magic, Risen. Andre Risen, to the Miller family in hockey, I mean, Michigan State's had a great a great athletic people. And they also do a lot in the community as well. Mm -hmm. So, um, but I'm, I'm going to say me. Okay, let's. Let's say brother duo then. It's me and Tico. The duck. There we go. There we go. <laughs> the duck is just dominating the duck MSU. Down. There we go. Right. Well, the funny thing is, TJ and I also have another thought together, and we both think the same way as um, autographs. I mean, why is my scribble worth anything? The the bill companies, you know, they're getting my scribble <laughs> and I'm paying them to take yeah. it. So, and I, I never understood it. My, I always think real deep, and I'm like, what made one caveman any more special than any other caveman you know it's like why do people gaga over certain people yeah. it's like just because they're on film or you know play sports it's just like just doing a job just like you know everybody else everybody has an important job mm -hmm. so I agree I just thought I was thought that was funny is why people give me 20 bucks to sign a piece of paper or a picture you know how often I'll take it I don't know because you know what I I kind of go wear the baseball cap and unless I'm wearing you know that's a little bit more noticeable but I try to you know just kind of blend in like a kid or um, but we get it pretty much every day or I'll get fan mail most of my fan mail comes from like out of the country which is weird like how do they get your address <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. I, do you guys have any questions Studio audience. <laughs> yeah, let's bring to the audience real quick. Any questions? Any new projects we can expect in the future? 
Yep. Yeah, um, you guys can go check out Movie 43. It's coming out this weekend or ne no, next weekend. Um, Oz, The Great and Powerful with James Franco and Mila Kunis. It's coming out in March. Um, what else? And another movie coming out with uh, Bobby De Niro and John Cusack called uh, Motel. So come check it out. That'd be good. What about TJ? Got any projects coming up? Yeah, actually I do. Um, I'm planning on giving and serving in a lot of places through New World Flood, which is my nonprofit that I'm involved with, uh, newworldflood.org. And I also have a t-shirt printing company that I'm involved with. So yeah, I'll be around your community. All right, happy to have you. You don't have a choice. Oh, <laughs> well, good thing we're happy. He's wearing blue though, right? I noticed. All right, well he's got Go blue green. on too. Go green. I want to say this is Michigan blue at all. It's Carolina. No, that's more Duke, or that's Carolina, yeah. We lost to them, too. That wimpy time. blue. <laughs> I don't like you guys either. Not that dark <laughs> blue and maze. I'm more of an LSU fan, so. There we go. I think we'll be all that's right. what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's all right. I like state. I love state. Just not against Michigan. I'm, and I'm the same way. To be honest with you, I don't, I like when teams from Michigan go around the country and are successful. Mm -hmm. It's just that that particular weekend. I don't. We That's don't like get a along. That's thing. it. It is. But I, go on and beat up on Notre Dame and beat up Ohio State and oh, yeah, do those <laughs> things. But other than that, yeah, go green. All right. Good. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Where's Rock the kiss? You want a kiss? We can. Let me get some. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I usually get a kiss, but no, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a little weird to put I'll on TV. Yeah. Anderson Cooper give you a kiss. You got a kiss from Anderson Cooper? No. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know until after after I did the show that he, uh, yeah. yeah. He's a good looking oh, yeah. dude. Now I can get all the stuff.